3. AC. If we wish to calculate the charge, store charge at a function of time, then QPT is tau P into I e to the power T by tau P. In quasi stated approximation, Vt is KT by Q natural log I. I tau P over QALP PN P to the power minus T by tau P plus 1. Reverse recovery transient. A reverse current larger than saturation current can flow in the junction during the time required for readjustment of the stored charge. The reverse current is minus EYR. If we wish to calculate the time delay, then time delay is tau p. Tau p is the current lifetime of a proton. Natural log of 1 plus IR over IR. The capacitance of PN junction will be equal to dq over dv. There are two types of capacitance. Junction capacitance at the transition region and stored capacitance at the edge in reverse bias condition. The junction capacitance is predominant in reverse bias and stored charge is dominant under the junction is forward bias. At equilibrium W, we know that V0 is 1 by 2 Q by epsilon any nd over n a plus nd into W square. Okay, and if there is a positive voltage, then we subtract that voltage from the potential contact potential. At P plus N junction, where Cg is equals to junction capacitor is A by 2 under root 2 Q epsilon slash V0 minus V into Nd. Now this is an important formula. It's often asked. It is often asked uh, in examination to calculate uh, junction capacitance or the transition capacitance or a capacitance in forward reverse bias condition then junction capacitance is a by 2 2 q epsilon over v naught minus v into nd whole under root the storage capacitance is cs is dq over dv 1 by 3 q square by kt a into pn e to the power q v slash kt conductance by allowing small charges in the current Gs is Ti over dv. If the pn junction is abrupt, if the pn junction is abrupt, the capacitance varies as the square root of the reverse bias. If it is linearly graded, if it is linearly graded, then n value is one by three. And if it is diffuse, then its value is one over two point five. Remember these value as it often can be asked rather than an abrupt PN junction or step rated PN junction. They can ask a linear PN junction. Carefully read the question. That's the key, one of the key things to remember. Read the question properly in gate examination. So uh, moving forward, we get the junction capacitance is directly proportional to Vr to the power minus n. If we look at one of the questions in 2015 on jun junction capacitance itself, where different biasing is being done across the capacitance, with the formula, we can derive that the junction capacitance is directly inversely proportional to under root of V0 plus Vr. If we put both the values, then we get Cg2 is equal to 2.5 picofarad. That's not a tough question. You just need to put the exact formula and try and get your answer. The metal